Hey guys and welcome to AppTech. So in this video we will see how to delete an element from an array queue. So the deletion in an array queue will occur at front. Okay, So we know that in an array queue we have two variables storing the index of front and rear elements. Okay, Suppose the front is pointing here and the rear is pointing here. Okay, So to delete element we will delete the element from the front. That is this element is deleted from the queue. So in this way we can delete element from the queue. So with every deletion the front gets modified. Okay, So you can see here we have this as Q. So we have uh, suppose this is 0th index, this is 1th index and suppose we have 2 here and 3 here. Okay? Now after deletion, suppose, now initially what we have, we have front as 0. Okay, Why? Because the uh, first element is at 0th index. Okay, So after this, after deleting the first element, that is after deleting the 2 here, we have front is equal to 1 after this. Why? Because now the first element of the queue is 3 and the index of 3 is 1. So after, after deletion we have front is equal to 1. So you can see that 1 is the front is modified after the deletion. So now the value of front is incremented by 1 when an element is deleted. So every time we delete element we have to increment the value of front by 1. Now these conditions are useful in the deletion of an element in a queue. Now see, in an empty queue, we have rear is equal to front, that is equal to minus 1. Okay, so in empty queue, we have both of them as minus 1. This condition will be used in the program. Now after this, in a queue with only one element, okay, suppose we have a queue and there is only one element in the queue, then we have front is equal to rear, that is equal to 0. Why? Because the element will be at 0th index. Therefore, we have both front and rear uh, storing the value 0. In a queue with single element both front and rear shows the index of first element that is 0. So you can see here in this example we have an array queue here and there is only one element in the queue. So we have this queue at 0th index therefore front and rear both will point to this that is both will have the index of this that is 0. So we have front and rear is equal to 0 and this condition will be used in the program. So here we have the diagrams and the algorithm for deletion in an array queue. So we have three conditions. The first condition is that if the queue is empty, okay, then we have front is equal to minus one. Now they have used null here, but in, uh, in the program we will use minus one. That is, if front is equal to minus one, then we have queue as empty. Second condition is for if the queue has only one element, okay, and third condition is for a non-empty queue. Now one more important point here is that after deleting the element, we will return the element to the main. Why? Because the user should know that which element was deleted. Okay, we'll see about this in the program. Okay, now here you can see the first example. So here we have uh, six elements here, and we have front is equal to zero, and we have rear is equal to five. Why? Because the front element is at zero index, and last element is at fifth index. Okay. Now to delete an element from this array or from this array queue, we will delete this first element, that is the front element. And how to delete this? We have to just increment the front. So you can see here the front is incremented and this is the only thing that you have to do to delete an element from a queue. Now see if we have front is equal to 1 then this means that the front element of the queue is 1 that is the first element of the queue is 1 and there is no element before the 1 okay. Therefore the first element is this and in this way we can delete the element from the beginning of the queue okay. Now see in reality we cannot delete an element from a static memory allocation okay. In dynamic memory allocation, we can delete the element by using the delete keyword. Okay, but in static memory allocation, we cannot delete the element using any operator. Okay, hence what you can do is you can just increment the front in the queue, and therefore you can indirectly say that the element is deleted. In the same way, to delete one more element from the queue, that is four from the queue, what we'll do is we will just increment the front. Now see, front was one here. To delete this element, we will increment the front. That is, front is two now, and in this way this 4 is deleted. Now to delete one more element from the queue that is to delete 19 from the queue we will increment the front. Okay, So we have front is equal to 3 now and therefore this element is deleted. Okay, So in this way we can delete element from a non-empty queue. Okay, Now if the queue is uh, empty then we have front is equal to minus 1. Okay, Now they have used null in the algorithm but in the program you have to use minus 1. So if the front is minus 1 then we have the queue as empty Hence, just print empty queue. After this, we have the third condition that is, if the queue has only one element, 
Now we know that if there is only one element in the queue, then we have front is equal to rear, that is equal to zero. Okay, that is the first and only element is at zeroth index. Okay. Now to delete this element, you have to make front is equal to rear, that is equal to minus one. Okay, so in the program, you will write front is equal to rear, that is equal to minus one. Okay. Now after this, the element is deleted. For example, suppose you have a array queue like this. Okay. Now inside this queue, we have only one element at the zero index. Okay. So we have front is equal to rear, that is equal to zero. Okay. Now after this, to delete this element, we will make front is equal to rear, that is equal to minus one. So after this. Front will become minus one. Here will become minus one. In this way, the queue is empty. Okay. So in this way, we have three conditions for deleting an element from a array queue. So here is the code for deleting an element in an array queue. So we are taking the queue as argument. After this, we have an element whose name is ELE. Okay, and it is of type integer. Now this element will store the element that is deleted, and this will be at last returned to the main function. After this, this first condition is for an empty queue. That is, if the queue is empty. Now, if queue is empty, we have front is equal to minus one. So in this case, we will return a minus one, and this minus one is cached in the main, and we will display that the queue is empty. Second condition is for if the queue has only one element. Okay. So if the queue has only one element, then we have front is equal to rear. In this case, we make front is equal to rear. That is equal to minus one. So in this way, after deleting the element, the queue will become empty. Now, after this, we have the third condition that is, if the queue is not empty, okay. So, so here we have only one operation that is, we increment the front, okay. So like this, we can delete an element from a non-empty queue, and the element is returned at last. So you can see here, we have stored the element here. That is, the element to be deleted is stored inside this ELE, okay, and then the element is returned to the main function. So in this way, we can delete element from a array queue.